is Saturday, January 24th, maybe, I don't know, 25th, I don't know. But today I'm gonna be doing a day in the life of a mother of three. I feel like this is what my channel is really gonna be all about, basically just day in the life of my life, of being a mom of three. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button down below. My social media links are always down below for you guys. And yeah, I woke up around seven, I set an alarm because I really, really wanted to go to a body pump class today, this morning at 8.45 but I was just so lazy and I was actually just really tired. I didn't go back to sleep, it's like eight. My husband's at the gym right now, so I'm just here with the girls. Um, my oldest and youngest are awake and my middle one is still sleeping. I'm sure you can hear a little back there. I'm just gonna take you guys along this day with me. I don't think I have too much, I'm just gonna go to the gym. I didn't go to the gym yesterday, the day before that or the day before that. The last day I was at the gym was on Tuesday. These past, past three days, I've just been so exhausted like I can just feel my body like I don't know I don't want to say weak but you know what I'm saying like I just I don't know and I think it's really important especially when working out and like on a different lifestyle um, adventure to listen to your body so I just um, yeah I just didn't go to the gym I do have to go to the hospital today sometime today so maybe I'll take you guys with me happy Saturday and let's get this day started started I just pulled up to the gym and I know this isn't the best um, angle but I just realized that I didn't take any pre-workout today I didn't take any pre-workout today but I guess my coffee will have to act as pre-workout normally during the week I work out in the afternoon when Cyrus is already off so and I'm done fasting by then so I can definitely take pre-workout but on the weekends I go in the morning when I am fasting but this like I said I've just been so tired and I before I left I was like okay just break your fast by taking some pre-workout definitely didn't happen so and on top of that this parking lot is busy as fuck so I hope that there's not that many people here I don't know there's a bus sitting over here so maybe there's like a high school event going on I don't know but we're gonna go in okay see you guys when I'm done okay guys so it's currently 12 46 I got done at the gym around 12 20 ish I just got out of the hospital I had to go draw blood really quick before this I went to the commissary I had to pick up strawberries for my shake I will show you guys how I make it when I get home I'm gonna head home now I'm gonna shower make my shake and then I believe we actually have to go back to the commissary. We have to do a little grocery shopping just for the week. Uh, we'll see where the day takes us, but the gym was good. I just did cardio and abs, and you know when you don't go to the gym for a while? I mean, three days is too long for me. That's way too long. I really only try to skip one day because I feel like if I skip more than two, honestly, more than one, I feel like I just start to get lazy, you know? But it was so good. Like, after my... I did cardio, I did 45 minutes on the elliptical, then I did abs, and then I just finished off in the sauna, and after this I was like, damn, I just know that, um, like, it felt so good to be back, and I just know that tomorrow is going to be a really good um, day with the weights, so yeah, but yeah, uh, let's head home. Okay, this is the keto shake that I make, I use two scoops of this, one, two, if you hear Milana crying, sorry, and then I do one scoop of collagen. Almost out of this guy. One. Whoa. Then I just use, I got sliced strawberries and I literally just use, I literally just get in there. And, hmm, that's not even a full handful, maybe right there. That many. And then I just add water, put the lid on. If I don't use water, I'll use almond milk, but we just ran out of almond milk. So give it a good shake. And then you put that bad boy on. That is it. So I use this as a meal replacement. It's currently 125. Been fasting for 16 hours now. 16 hours and some change. This guy with the straw, good to go. Okay, we're in the car. We're headed to the commissary. I had to quickly come home. When I got home, they were already ready. And I don't like when they're waiting on me because normally I'm the one that gets ready first. Whoa. Anyways, yeah, I don't like when they're waiting on me because normally I'm the first one to get ready because I take so long But yeah, when I got home, they're already ready. So I had to hop in the shower really quick Freshen up didn't even I didn't put any makeup on threw my hair back again, but it's fine 
I like not wearing any makeup. Homeboy's here. Oh, actually, I do want to stop by the next. I want to stop by the because I, I, I want to check on my dry cleaning. I have a dress that I had to get altered, and they told me that they would call me with the price, and they never called me. And I don't want when, them just to do it, it on the 30th. I don't want them to just do it, and it'd it be like an expensive ass price, you know? <laughs> I love when they're all stocked up in here. Hi. I don't know the price of such things. Hi. Drop like an egg. Hey, one pink lemonade. No. Dang, girl. <laughs> say random I bought these jeans from Fashion Nova but as you guys know I do live overseas and I have a military address so a lot of companies don't ship out here Fashion Nova was one of the companies that do so that's why I, I always order from them but they sh they changed their shipping info sorry they changed their shipping to UPS instead of USPS so it took forever to get here and these jeans are so big on me now So I think I'm gonna try to get them altered, but yeah, they're just so big. I got regular jeans and I also got black jeans And they're so big on me and it's really annoying because I really like them and I didn't want to sell them obviously So yeah, we got our groceries. We're gonna head over to the next. I want to check on my dress paintings there um, But yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys all that later. So yeah I don't know. I, I really like them though. And I was just telling them like they're it's a really good price. Wow, I officially suck at vlogging. It's currently Monday the 26th. Um last time you guys saw me I was our last time I saw you guys. It was Saturday and we were just coming home from the commissary. We literally did nothing. We came home, took a nap, ate dinner. That was it. Yesterday we did nothing. But it's Monday, I'm gonna continue the vlog. Um, I guess that's the advantage I have is that here in Japan, I'm a day ahead of you guys, or those in the States, at least I'm ahead a day of that. Sorry, I was talking to Milana. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the advantage I have for those that are in the States, because I upload Sunday, Wednesday, stateside time. Um, so if I am late on an upload, I can just, um, like when you guys see this, it'll be Monday, but it'll be Tuesday for me, but I'm filming on Monday, you know what I'm saying? So I also decided to upload today on Monday because I'm sure you guys saw the news. Kobe Bryant passed away with his daughter and my husband actually woke me up this morning. He has today off and he woke me up um, before he went to the gym and was telling me that Kobe had passed away in a helicopter accident And I was like no way like there's no way So like I hopped on Twitter because you guys know Twitter has all the news 24 7 I hopped on Twitter and I was like oh my gosh like it's real and he was with his daughter Like from what I've seen from what I've read they were on the way to a basketball practice actually It's just so sad I was just thinking of him his daughter of course his wife like if you follow me on Instagram, then you've obviously seen my stories, but I, um, it's just so sad thinking about his wife. Like, I honestly have no idea what I would do if I lost my husband and one of our daughters. I don't know how far along she is after giving birth, but I'm pretty sure she did just give, not just, but she gave birth to their fourth daughter. I've talked about this before, um, especially on my old channel. I had postpartum depression with... Milana and Oakland. I don't know if I talked about my time with Oakland, but I did have postpartum depression with Milana and Oakland And it's just a really rough space to be in now Obviously, I don't know if she's had postpartum depression, but in that postpartum state Obviously your mind is just like not there completely so you know some people some people go through postpartum a week, a day, a month, a year, you know, like I feel like there's no really limit on how, how long someone suffers through that but I just feel like when after you give birth like a week a month later I feel like you're still trying to handle everything like I, like I said I don't know how far along she is like I don't know how long she gave birth but I just feel like after that like I said you're still just kind of trying to get a hold of everything and then to have to deal with this like so sad like she said bye to her husband and their daughter today like just thinking okay I'll see you after practice or something you know like not knowing that they weren't gonna come home and that's just so sad and like people were also talking about on Twitter like can you just imagine Kobe in that moment like just holding on to his daughter like feeling so helpless you know and like as a parent of course that's what you think about I don't know if you are new to my channel I am a mother of three 
as you guys can tell by the title. I'm pretty sure I'm titling this A Day in the Life of a Mom of Three. I don't know what I'm titling this, honestly. But it's, I just couldn't even, I don't know, you guys. It's so sad. It's Kobe Bryant. Like, are you kidding me? Like, we grew up on this man. I'm not kidding. Like, of course I'm a Lakers fan because my dad is a Lakers fan. My dad is a Kobe fan. Like, we're a Laker household. That's just so crazy. Definitely thinking of his wife, praying for her, and praying for the Bryant family and her family. Oh man, so sad. Praying for their daughters, like, oh man. So sad, you guys. So yes, that is why I decided to push the upload to Monday, not only because I didn't vlog Sunday, but I just, uh, I didn't want to upload on like Sunday your guys' time and like this happens, you know? I don't know, I feel like this day is just so dedicated to Kobe, you know what I mean? Like I said, just looking at it from a a mom perspective, a parent perspective, it's just so heartbreaking. Like, not even a parent, like a fan of his, you know? Like, no, I'm sorry, it's not the 26th, it's the 27th, I just remembered that. It's the 26th states, I oh. When I'm filming this, it's the 26th for you guys. That's why I said it's the 26th, because I, I'm reading everything about Kobe, but it's the 27th here, sorry. Monday the 27th, it's Monday the 27th, when you guys are seeing this. Um, it's currently 10.05, we're about to get ready to head to the hospital. Um, Oakland needs her nine month shots. Oh, yesterday I did go to the gym, I did a full body workout, it was great. I'm, it's just so sad, you guys, goodness. I'm sorry to keep like going back to the topic, but it's so sad. I would say happy Monday, you guys, but it's a really, really horrible Monday. So uh, let's, whatever the next clip is, I'll see you guys in the next clip.